uh, this new Little Peep album. It's not good. Little Peep is a uh, California via New York rapper who is yet to drop a full length commercial project until now, uh, part one of this come over when you're sober. I first heard of this guy last year when I heard his uh, Hellboy tape, which um, I, I ranked as one of the worst projects of the entire year because of the way it hideously combined cloud rap with trap rap, along with like some emo vocals and screaming and ugh, melodramatic lyrics. Then down the road, uh, I learned via Pitchfork uh, that Little Peep was in fact the future of emo. The future of emo. So of course my morbid curiosity got the best of me and I had to try this new project out too. Uh, not that it wasn't getting requested, it was. And who knows, may maybe this time Lil Peep, he would wow me. He would win me over. I don't know why I have hope at this point. Ugh. Ugh. That did, that did make me gag a little bit. Listen, here's the thing. This is a very short project. It's just like seven tracks or so. And given that it is part one, I'm assuming that this is just like half of the album. And I'm not assuming part two is gonna change anything up significantly or anything like that. But essentially what we have here on this thing is a series of very cloudy, very mediocre, very trappy production on this thing. Um, little peep over it. When he's rapping, it's usually just kind of a very subtle, very monotone, very lifeless sort of thing. He's so despondent. He's trying to convince you of how depressed he is. He's such a tortured soul. But yet his lyrics are so substanceless, they're so meaningless, they're so vapid. It's like he's depressed for the fashion of it. And you know what, I may be a little too cynical here. He may in fact have emotional problems and actually suffer from something like depression. Uh, but. If that's in fact the case, why would he spend so much time on this project essentially fetishizing sadness, fetishizing depression? Because the way he frames it, it sounds like this sexy, glossy, moody fantasy, not the literal mental hell that some people have to struggle with every day. And that's why I say a lot of the lyrics and a lot of the song topics on this thing just boil down to melodrama, cheap melodrama, as Peep just moans out, sometimes atonally because he's not a very good singer, over these beats that routinely combine these strung out reverbed guitars with the rattling hi-hats, the sub bass, the sharp 808 snares. I think a lot of these instrumentals are okay, they're decent, but their style, their sound, their aesthetic is really a one-trick pony that Little Peep has totally exhausted by the end of these very short, like 20 or so minutes. Ugh, I feel like I'm listening to like a really bad 90s alt-rock chorus sort of slipped into this horrible emo song that has somehow tripped over and fallen on top of this really trendy cloud rap production. I guess at this point, I don't entirely disagree with the categorization or even the prediction of Little Peep being the future of emo, but... <sighs> It's really bad emo. I mean, this is the kind of emo that if it were thrown over these pop, punky, driving, sweet guitars 10 or 11 years ago, today we would just be laughing at it. But now that it's over a trap beat, it's like, hey, you know what? This is like, this is, this is the new thing. When in actuality, it's just kind of another sign that we've reached peak trap. <laughs> Like, the genre has been co-opted so awfully so many times that the sound is nearly meaningless at this point. It's kind of like a meme that gets shared so many times and becomes so popular that even your mom thinks it's funny now. Nothing against the moms, though. Shout out to the moms. And, I don't know, man, uh, uh, the, the, the singing, I really cannot tolerate it. And I'm not really sure if I can read these lyrics without laughing at least a little bit. Fuck my life, can't say that girl. Don't tell me you can save that shit. All she want is payback for the way I always play that shit. I don't know how anyone can listen to this and identify with it because it just sounds like such an act. Like, I get being sad and wanting to listen to sad music, but I just don't get even a whiff of authenticity to the moodiness of this record. It just seems like... I mean, it's not like the new Mount Erie album, which is literally so tangibly sad that sometimes I, I just want to avoid it and I don't want to have anything to do with it because it, it's, it's just 
it's it's too much. It just sounds like it's way too obsessed with like trying to sound really cool. I knew somebody who sort of acted and sort of dressed like this like, you know, he was super fashion punk and, you know, he was like, oh man, life, life is, life is suffering, man. Life is just suffering. Needless to say, we, we did, we did not take this guy very seriously. But that's essentially what this album feels like to me. I've given that guy the ability to just talk my ear off for over 20 minutes and I'm looking for, you know, a reason to leave the room or escape without being like super rude. Oh, whoa, hey, uh, my friend uh, just texted me here. So he says um, that uh, something about microwaves and vacuums and uh, like going out of uh, business and he says they're on a discounted price, which is um, something that is interesting to me. So I need to go call him, take him up on that. But, uh, but yeah, this new little Peep album, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's not good. Have you given this album a listen? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What would you rate it? You're the best, you're the best. What should I review next? Hit the like if you like. Please subscribe. And please don't cry. Just leave an angry comment in the comments if you're angry. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Hopefully I have a, a haircut by then. I, I really don't know. Other video next to my head. Another not good video. Or click on the link to subscribe to the channel. Alright guys. Forever.